Wonderful stadium here at Petersburg, sponsored by the Petersburg Town Council. The wind is blowing, it's a cloudy afternoon, quite a strong breeze behind the sprinters, which uh, should speed them up later on. Many of the top athletes here in the country, and we look forward to some fine athletics. The 400 meter hurdles for ladies, one of the prestige events of the South African athletic scene. Why? Because in lane three we have Myrtle Botner, outside of her Corin Wilkinson, but absolutely world-class Myrtle Botner running in the green and gold colors of the normal college in Pretoria. Her South African record, 53,74, set up a couple of years ago in that memorable meeting at Grand Afrikaans University Stadium. Steadily, over the years, Myrtle Botner has remained in world class. Last year, her best time of 53,82 was second on the world list. Let's see what she can do this afternoon. Her biggest competition, Karen Wilkinson and Lana S. South Africa is really beautiful to so a beautiful climb of 400 meter hockey athlete to have so many of them that are 58 seconds to go. It is unheard of. Clean start, first time away, the first track event of the afternoon. She'll be watching Karen Wilkinson on her outside, running in the new colours for her of the Potterstrom Teacher Training College. And already she's made up that stagger as she heads out into a fairly strong wind in the background. Wilkinson second, coming up towards the halfway mark now. Smooth hurdling, effortless style as she goes over, halfway now. Already three or four meters ahead of Corin Wilkinson in the second place. Chasing a time of around about 54 or 55 seconds, which will be fine hurdling. Wilkinson in second, notes in third, but all eyes now on Myrtle Botner as she streaks towards the finishing tape. Absolute miles between her and the second girl. She goes through now, Wilkinson will be second, notes will be third, and an exhausted athlete. She reaches down for her blocks and she must be very happy and this very, very appreciative crowd uh, signals their enthusiasm for a world-class athlete, second on the world ranking this last year. And he says to her, yeah, this will say, down is it rare and down is it long. He will say that it's always good as an athlete to be talent. Because the wind can be passed with me, the influence. He can also be very hard to stop and then can it also be passed with me, the influence. 100 meters for ladies. Who's the quickest girl in the country? Will it be one of the five normal college athletes out there today? Stel Berg, Yvette de Klerk, Manel Bagedis, Rihanna Roth and Isabel de Jager. Five of them up from Pretoria. The lone Tuckies athlete in lane number three, Marcel Winkler. Can she upset the Queen? Yvette de Klerk, holder of the South African record at 11,09 seconds. Lane seven is Rihanna Roth, closest to us. And there you see them, uh, Yvette de Klerk just going down on her marks. The wind around about two meters a second gusting behind these athletes. Will it destroy a record? Fine start. And uh, Winkler got away very well. Ahead of uh, Yvette de Klerk, the Klerk will close. And uh, Marilis Kutzer behind them. But it's Yvette de Klerk, the power of Normal College going through. A very, very quick run by her. 11,15 seconds. Superb running by Yvette de Klerk from Normal College. Marcel Winter, after a great start, got up to take second place. Uh, the wind on the wind meter 1,54, which is allowable. Looks very good from our point of view here. A prachtige wedloop met a briljante tijd, 11,15. Marcel Winter is gewoonlijk voor. But he was from here, he was a bit longer for. Maybe he was a bit longer for. But he was not from the band to be a bit. That was not beloved. But he came strong here in Marlies Koetser in the third place. And the result of the 400 meter hurdles for ladies, South African record 53,74. One second outside of that, Myrtle Botmer, a very excellent time, 54,76. Karen Wilkinson, 57,41. Notes another from the... And with the following wind of 1,77 meters, 
which is allowable under the rules of Vesta Kirk, an excellent time, 11,15 seconds. Marcel Winter, Pretoria University, 11,37, equally impressive by him. Coming up to the bell now, 53 seconds, and it's Gert de Bruyne, the perennial hare. He always goes out quickly, and he's taken the lead again. Back in the bunch there, you can see now in the red shorts, moving up into third place, is Dion Brummer with Craig Aiken in bits in second place. Is for now lying second, but it's Gert de Bruyne, and uh, down the back straight, there's Gert de Bruyne, number 82, followed by Normal College for Wittberg and Bits, the three of them all together there. And it's uh, still, still Gert de Bruyne, Dion Brummer, and Daniel McQueen are moving up. Now with 200 meters to go, digging deep now, and it's normal college, Lucas Dupreya in second place, but it's still Gert de Bruyne and Daniel McQueen are moving up on the outside. This is going to be a ding-dong battle. Slowish first lap for 54 seconds, and they're coming out now, and it is going to be Dion Brummer versus Daniel McQueen. Who's it going to be? Dupreya on the inside, McQueen on the outside. Dion Brummer gets up to take it just ahead of Daniel McQuenna. What a good 800 under 150 off for a slowish first lap. Dion Brummer, after a poor start to the season, timing his peaking to a nicety, ready for the South African Championship, and he looks a happy man. Dion Brummer was lekker terugleid achter Gert de Bruyne, and op die rechte oomblik kom hy dier. Die man is bezig om elke wetloop te verbeteren. Hij beoordeelt zijn wetloop op vijf meter. Tactisch aan die binnenkant om hij voorbij met twee na aan die buitenkant. En dat is een jeugdige strijd tussen die twee. Maar Brummer blijft pas en kikken werken met zijn arm. Twee na zijn arms werkt niet zo lekker niet, maar hier werkt die on Brummer bij hem. Hij kijkt niet te wachten. One of the longest running road shows in South African athletics history, the Vessel Bosman Corbus Kuman Road Show. These two athletes out every week at every meeting, providing excellent 110 meter hurdling. The South African record, 13,55. Behind the name of American Mylon Stewart, who you may recall has been out here a couple of years in a row and set up that new South African record. Others in there, Louis Duplessis, Lully Ottendahl, Johan Jonker, Ashabel, Nadeswat, and Stefan. Skuman, and that is Kurbe Skuman, the blonde hair on his inside on the right of your picture, Vessel Bosman from the South African police. Skuman has ruled the roost this season. Let's see what happens this afternoon. And I see Nod the Swart in seven is not there. Skuman got away well, and uh, so did Bosman. Lightning passes Vessel Bosman, but Kurbe Skuman, the taller of the two men. Is up and he's half a meter ahead and on the outside it's Johan Jonker but it's going to be Kurbis Kuman, Vessel Bosman and Johan Jonker. Kurbis Kuman goes through as he has so often this season, a time of just over 14 seconds. A little bit uneven over the hurdles today uh, but nevertheless he'll be pretty pleased with that victory. Kurbis Kuman is gewoonlijk, just gewoonlijk baie goed uitkom, maar Vessel is net even voor op die eerste Maar dan is het kubus wat laag le en met die achterbeen wat vinniger werk vandag. Maar die wind het een bykie gaan le. Het is nie so gunstig as wat het vroeger nie middag was nie. En hulle is hier by mekaar. Maar kubus wat werk met sy voorbeen, baie vinniger werk is wees gesien. Die stuit het die mens net begin kyk na die achterbeen ook van kubus aan die trek. Nie so vinnig deels wat hy kan. And Dion Brummer, of course, will be pleased with the win, if not with the time, 149.90 ahead of Daniel McQuenna. And one wonders when times of 145 will be recorded again in this country. But Dion Brummer, full value for his victory this afternoon. Just one hundredth of a second separates the two girls in lane three and four. 13.08 for Anna Maria LaRue and 13.09 for Ina van Rensburg, their best times. Corinne van Niekerk, Ilse Luneberg, Lana Ace, Rihanna Roth and Estelle Berg also in the field. The first time we have to be in our hands in Die veteraan en meester Ina van Rijsburg en die Suid-Afrikaanse recordhoud vir Annemarie Leroux. Langs mekaar daar in die middel van die veld. Kom ons kyk, daar sit Ina met die vlegsel achter haar kop vastgemaakt. Ina en Annemarie, kom ons kyk wie is eerst op die grond na elke hekje. Second time start and Leroux gets away well. Ina van Rijsburg at a shoulder, there's two in neck and neck, but Ina is just behind and Annemarie Leroux half a meter ahead, she's quick over the hurdles. Leg comes down quickly, she's going to take this 
in upon Rendsburg, breathing down her neck, but it is going to be Anna-Marie LaRue. Second was uh, in upon Rendsburg, and Rihanna Roth got up to take third place. A good time, 13,61. The wind is absolutely died down, so there's no wind assistance. And these two who've battled it out season after season, and for so long, uh, Anna-Marie LaRue was in the shadow of Inna von Rensburg, but this last year, she's taken over. Kop van kop, die eerste paarrek is Samtie met Kijk. Hier van hem toen die feitdek, die af land Ina, een beetje achter haar voorvoet. En dan kan ze nie haar voor in die momentum behou nie, en dit is net daar waar die strik verloor gaan. Waar ze net die extra paar dempies verloor tegen Anna-Marie. Really class competition between these two girls, and this crowd really appreciated that race. 200 meters for ladies, South African record 22.06 in the field, in lane number four, Yvette Clap. Noakes, De Bell, Winkler, Kutzer, Geddes, De Jager and Berg also up there, chasing Yvette Clark. Marcel Winkler in lane three, she's the one to watch with Yvette Clark. Can they get under 23 seconds? The wind is still. Great start by De Klerk and Winkler. Let's see how they come around the bend and uh, that's a Klerk, arms working, Winkler on her inside, watching her all the way around the bend. The rest of them lagging back one or two meters and it's going to be about the Klerk and Marcel Winkler, the two of them powering their way up the straight and Winkler's hanging on desperately. The last 50 meters is what counts though and that's the Klerk, too strong as usual, going through the time under 23 seconds. Winkler gets second, the bell gets third, a fine, fine 200 meters, John Short. Prachtige tijd door die wet. Mooi gehaardklip om die draai, maar sal het net voor aan die draai in gekom, maar toe draai sy die kraan oop. Prachtige 22. Using her arm, that bend is so important. Leaning inwards, Winkler desperately trying to stay with her, but it is that last 50 meters that counts. So often she's run under 23 seconds in world class, even though it is here at altitude. There was no wind behind the load in the afternoon. Ons weet nie hoe goed is die die meisje kom. Two hundred meters for ladies. That's the catch once again under 23 seconds, convincingly 22,66. Also went for second. Marilise puts her just over 23 seconds in third place. Well, for the 110 meter hurdles uh, result, Corbus Kuman didn't quite manage to get under 14, se 14 seconds, but he just managed to stay ahead of his arch rival, Vessel Bosman, with junior Johan Jonke in front. Well, we've all enjoyed our trip to the bush belt in all its beauty, rain and all, and looking very green. The highlights of this afternoon's meetings double victories for Yvette de Klerk in the sprint, Johan Rousseau in the sprint, Myrtle Bortmay in the 400 and the 400 meter hurdles. A fine meeting, well organized. And so, from us here in Petersburg, back to Auckland Park. <laughs>